Behold the any two of Enyogubu ancient kingdom. Ebu bedike, okaome, okaokuo, the lion of this great kingdom. Ha, my king, you look very great in this royal attire. Thank you so much, my lovely wife. <laughs> my king, looking at you, I see that great and very powerful king who can start face to face to conquer whatever situation that makes other kings tremble. Ah, my lord, I am very proud to have a great king like you as my own husband. <laughs> You really have ways with words. <laughs> Who is that? It is me, Okute, Your Highness. Okute, please come in. Yabuba Adika! Kazi Yabubu, Eke Namgo. Ano Kunako Nejo Ano. I you who was very elegant, who was so quiet about one apple, mother, Ebona Mungo, who was off a five at Ramaran, and what the other and in a cantary. One way or one, you got the other for an Amgonama, no Bononian, and I want one leave one. You can be sick and will no man, what can you one? Who are you? Who are you? driver bringing the prince have arrived in the kingdom. They will be in the palace in less than 15 minutes, my king. Good news. Good news. Where is Ono and other elders? They are in the king's city who are waiting. Ah, go. Tell them that the crown prince is on his way to the palace and that I will be with them in five minutes. As you please, my king. <laughs> Makana jaka mi jak no ka fuga mi fa kwa de kri kri ka ka je nyibu ifo na eri api sanu di ka matuke na aro mu ya je ju ayo do ka ma li fo ma no nwe nu hu ma ma we o wa na eri unike my king, I am the happiest person on earth today. Our son finally made it back home alive. The gods do not disappoint their own. <laughs> that is true.
scared of when you will get down his back. Thanks to the gods for bringing back the prince of Enyogugu, ancient kingdom, to his fatherland. My, My people, behold your prince. My other father. Oh, good day. Oh, good day. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. My others, I greet you all. Father. I am glad to see you today. Same here. Mother, I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Miss me too. Um, let me introduce to you my very good friend. Uh, a boy? Come. Oh, come here. Oh, Dad. Uh, this is my very good friend, this month. We served together. This man, you're welcome. My parents. You're welcome. Well, son, I am very happy to see that you made it back home in one piece. You see, the girls have proven to us that they never turn their back on their own. <laughs> <laughs> My son, you are welcome back to your father's land. Thank you, mother. You are all happy. In fact, I am the happiest person on earth <laughs> to see you back home. <laughs> yeah. Welcome home, son. You have to go inside and get ready for your personal thanksgiving to the gods and your initiation to the masquerade group. Father, I had a very stressful and a long journey down to this place. All I want now is to rest, take my bath, eat, not any kind of sacrifice. Will you shut your mouth? What in the name of the gods are you trying to say here? Father, that I am tired, I need, to, I need some rest. The tradition forbids you from having any form of rest. Son, you are the prince. The heir to the throne of the Yogu ancient kingdom. You have to know the tradition. Father, I know tradition. Then act like you do. Every night and day, I pray the gods to continue to protect you far away in the north. My prayers were answered. Despite all the bombings and killings that were going on in the north, yet you came back alive. Son, you owe the gods. Father, I never said I will not do the sacrifice or the ritual to the masquerade initiation. What I am saying is that I need some rest to, 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 to get myself together. Maybe tomorrow I do whatever you want me to do. I, I mean, I, I do not see any need for to all this. Dare you. Are you out of your senses? What? did they do to you in that knot? Father, I am alright. Nothing is wrong with me. Then this is from saying things that are capable of destroying you and this entire royal family. But Father, I... I you have few minutes to go and get ready for your journey to the shrine of Obugu. Do not keep the elders and I waiting for too long. This is a royal decree.
Uh, 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 no. How are you? I'm fine, my dear. You're welcome, Onne. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. <coughs> Mama, you know you're not supposed to be doing this in your health condition. My daughter, what will I do now? There's no nobody around. So I have no option than be doing it. You know, don't worry. I'll help you with it. Just go, let me do it. Okay. Desmond is not back yet. No, I have not seen him more. Wait, oh. Is he supposed to be back by now? Mm-hmm. They passed out days ago, so I thought he should be back home by now. Wait, are you sure my son is all right? We are the... <coughs> <Sorry>. <sighs> are you sure all is well with my son wherever he is? Because he promised me he will come back as soon as he's done from serving his fatherland. Mama, you don't need to worry. This month is fine. He will be back home before you know it. It's fine. <coughs> Don't worry. <coughs> Mama, have you been taking the drug med the cough medicine I bought for you? It, 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 they finished uh, some days ago. Okay, not to worry. Once I'm done washing these clothes, I'll go get you another one. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Let me finish washing the clothes. I'll go get another one for you. Ayawo <laughs> Then I know when this and 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 I <laughs> Long live the Prince of the Yogu Asian Kingdom. Long live the elders of the Yogu Asian Kingdom. Long live the Yogu Asian Kingdom. The seven veggies of the Yogu Asian Kingdom greets you all. Thank you, seven veggies of the Yogu. You may now go ahead and do what the tradition demands of you. On behalf of the seven villages that make up this kingdom, we present to you the item for the Thanksgiving sacrifice to the gods. May the gods accept this sacrifice. May the gods also accept you into the masquerade group. He said...
<sighs> My people, I greet you all. I want to specially thank my elders for standing by this family today. You have proven that you respect our tradition and this family. I pray the gods to always continue to bless you. Ah! Father. Ah! Father, what is it? Martin. Father, what is it? Martin. You were father. Mama, please make sure to take your drugs, okay? <coughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you very much. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's okay. God bless you. Oh. Mama, you don't need to thank me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Chai, my God will always bless you for me. You know, you will never lack at the point of your need. <laughs> Amen, Mama. And God will bless and keep you for me. Amen. <coughs> Mama, please. I'll come and see you tomorrow. I'll be leaving now. Take good care of you, so. I will, my dear. Uh, you mean you will come tomorrow? Uh, that means I will prepare your favorite soup for you. Oh, wow, that would be nice. <laughs> Mama, I'm so not missing it. I'm coming <laughs> tomorrow. Um, please, don't forget to call my son for me. You know? Ask him if all is well with him. Tell him that I am so worried about him. You know? I would have called him myself, but I lost my phone in the hands of these village thieves. Fazul phone. Oh. Okay, Mama, not to worry. While coming tomorrow, I'll get you another phone. <coughs> you mean you will get me another phone? Oh, yes, what phone? <laughs> hey, Ujuako. Uju, Uju. Hey, oh. God bless you for me. You're welcome, Mama. I'll be on my way now. Bye bye, bye, -bye Mama. Bye bye, bye, -bye. Your Majesty, please take it easy. Pull yourself together. Oh no, it's not easy for me, but I'm trying. Yes, I'm trying. I know how you feel, but believe me, the gods of our land will not allow anything evil happen to the king. Say. We cannot afford to lose him now. Yes. Doctor, how is my husband? How is his health condition? He's fine. Yeah. Mother, please calm down. Everything is under control. Doctor, a man that slumped like an hour ago while addressing us cannot be said to be strong or to be fine. Doctor. Please, I ask you for the last time. How is my husband the king? How is he? Uh, uh, well, um, the king's BP is very high. He needs plenty of rest right now as we pray for his recovery. Um, I shall take my leave right now. 
Thank okay, you. see you. How is your father? I, 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 I hope he's okay. He's still alive. Ah, thank God. The doctor said his BP is still very high, but everything is under control. Thank God. That's exactly what I want to hear now. Thank God. Uh, there's no much cause for alarm. Hmm? Just relax and enjoy your stay. <sighs> Finally, this is good news. <sighs> I have been worried. I, I... Wait. That reminds me. Why why did you keep it away from me? Like, why didn't you tell me? I don't understand what you're saying. Ken. You and I have known for donkey years. Like, you have bought me all through my university days in your house. And when we went for youth service, we slept in the same place in the north. We lived together. And in all these years, you never bothered to tell me you were a prince. <laughs> um, this, I didn't see it as being necessary. What do you mean by that? We were in school environment, remember? So what has my status got to do with my studies back then in school? I saw it as nothing. What are you talking about, Ken? And what has... We being in the school environment got to do with you not telling me who you are. Um, um, okay, okay. I am so sorry for making you feel bad. I'm so sorry. Good morning. I thank the gods for waking me up. Good morning, son. How was your night? Oh, Father, my night was full of worries. I was awake all through the night, praying to the gods to help me heal you at least. But I am happy they've granted my request. I thank the gods for making you come out from my alliance. I also want to thank you specially for ensuring that I stand on my feet once again. Your mother told me everything. I'm grateful. Father, I did what I'm supposed to do as the only child and the only son. Um, that reminds me. Father, the seven beautiful girls I saw yesterday, are they really virgins? Yes, they are, son. As a matter of fact, anyone that is not a virgin will die the day after performing such a ritual. Um, do you consider any of them worthy of being your wife? Father, did you say wife? Tradition does not forbid you from taking any of them as a bride. Besides, I expected you to present your bride on your return from national service. Father. When are you going to present your wife to me? Um, Father, I think what you need now is rest. As the doctor said, enough rest. Okay? I will see you soon. My son, I think your father has a very serious point here. And which is? Marriage, of course. You are now a full grown man, and you have all it takes for you to get married to any girl. I know that, mother. Then what stops you from doing that? Why are you and father talking about marriage this morning? We're supposed to focus on getting him back on his feet. Not, not this. We want to carry your children. I, for one, I want to carry my grandchildren before I join my ancestors. Death, as you know, can come at any time. <laughs> are both of you planning to die anytime soon? 
Go and do what everyone in this kingdom is expecting of you. Period. Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. How long have you been standing there? I wasn't standing there. I brought your phone for you. It's been ringing. Who was the caller? Sonia. She's called three times. Okay. I'll call her back later. Are you sure everything is all right? The king. The king? Is he not responding to treatment? On the contrary, he's fine. This, my parents wants me to present to them my wife to be. And they want me to get married as soon as possible. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you just get married and let them rest? You have all it takes to get married, so why don't you just do it? This. Even you. I'm telling you the truth. Your parents are right. Look at it. You're comfortable. You're of age. So what is it? If I were you, I would have gotten married a long time ago. How do you expect to do that? Even when you don't have a girlfriend? You know that was because I wanted to concentrate on my studies so I could make good grades and get a good job. But look at you. You live in the palace. You have everything at your beck and call. Why don't you just settle down so they can leave you alone? I thought you were moody a while ago. He came from inside and he, he came empty handed. Your Highness, Hello. I am very happy to see you very strong and held it today. Yes. We give thanks to the gods for preserving your life. Our king, you will live very long. He said... May the gods continue to defeat your enemies. He said... And those that want you dead will die before you. He said... Ah. <laughs> oh no. Thank you very much. My elder, I want to thank you for your unprecedented support and prayers. May the gods bless all of you. <clears throat> your Highness, as we were entering the palace to come and check on you, uh, we saw a very beautiful young lady driving out in a very beautiful car. <laughs> Is that the wife for the prince? <laughs> oh no. The prince is not married yet. The young lady you saw was the nurse sent to me by my doctor to bring my drugs. If that be the case, your highness, where will the prince do that which everyone expects him to do? Mm. My people, the prince is a true son of the soil. He knows the tradition and he lives by it. There is no cause for alarm. He knows what to do and he will do it as soon as possible. Igwe. You've actually taken greater part of me. I think of you every day of my life. I, I can't just explain. Are you sure you truly love me or are you just pretending? I have no reason to lie to you. Spend with someone, just relax yourself. I think I have to go now. I have something to attend to. Okay, dear. Bye then. Okay. 
Ken, don't you think you're making a great mistake? How long have you been standing there? I mean... You... Happened. I have been like this since last night. I am weak to get up from this place. <coughs> <coughs> have you eaten or taken any drugs? <laughs> no. I don't have any drugs with me. I am even so weak to do anything for myself. I wish my son was here. He would have at least made food for me to eat. Mama, oh, okay, it's okay. I'm here now. Take care of you. First of all, we'll go to the hospital. Okay? It's okay, Mama. Will let me go and call someone to help me carry you to the castle? We'll go to the hospital. I'm coming, Mama. Me. Yes, Grace. That is it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Trust me now. I will get you involved when it starts. <laughs> Woman, where is your son? Your Majesty, you look very upset. What is the problem? Where is your son, the prince? He might be in his room with his friend Desmond. What actually is the problem? Advise your son. Tell him to do what is expected of him before I get angry. Many tongues are wagging already. I'm sorry if I offend you. What actually is the problem? And who are the owners of the tongues that are wagging? Do you know who and my council chiefs were not just here to know about my health condition, but they were here to remind me of the impending doom Associated with the prince not getting married. How dare the Onohu and the elders come here to spit at the face of this royal family? What gave them such gods? Will you shut up and speak like a queen for once? Why are you defending your son here? But your majesty... Tell your son to present his wife to me for blessing. Else! Ah! Ah! Your majesty! Ah! Ah! Your majesty! Ah! Your majesty! Your majesty! Your majesty! I don't know how to explain this to you for you to understand what I am trying to say. I can't understand anything you're trying to say because nothing you have just said made sense to me. How can you tell me you're in love with someone you've never met your entire life? Someone you don't even know? I, I might not be making sense to you, but I know what I'm doing. Fine, fine, Ken, but listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking you not to love her, no. But you telling me she's the only one your heart wants and all of that, it's absurd. Hey, don't you think this girl has done something to you? Okute, mm -hmm. what is it? Why do you have to barge in on me without my permission? Have you run mad? Mm -mm. Uh, I am sorry, my prince, but I was carried away by the situation at hand. And what is the problem? The king is dying, you know. Huh? And the queen, your mother, asked me to come and fetch you immediately. What happened to him? I'm a He's dying. Yes. 
Please come with me. The king is dying. What is wrong with the king? Man, 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 man. Hello, Desmond. Where are you? I've been trying to call you since yesterday, but you're not picking my calls. This morning, I'm sorry if I disturbed you. But the thing is, Mama has not been feeling fine. Yes, well, what, what that I don't know for now. I'm still waiting for the result to come out. We went to the hospital, so they're still processing her results. She's at the hospital. I'm heading to the hospital now to pick her up. But Desmond, she's really worried about you. She is. I will. Okay, take care of yourself. You have the effrontery to come in here and tell me that the doctor said your father had a partial stroke? Mother, I am confused. You want us to die before our time, right? Why are you talking like this? Am I the one that inflicted sickness on my father? Your inability to do what humanity and the gods expect of you is what led to your father's present condition. What did I do? Marriage, of course. The elders we are here today to remind your father of the impending doom that follows your inability to get married as custom demands. Mother, what is wrong with the marriage issue? Any crown prince that performs the masquerade initiation ritual is expected to get married within one month, else he will not be recognized as the heir apparent to the throne. Or do you want us to lose the throne? Is that what you want? What I see, marriage is not what someone just jump into like that. I need some time. I want to take my time and do this. You have no time to waste. Go out there, get yourself a wife before it is too late. And do not say I did not warn you. It's a royal decree. You take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I this is royalty, you take it or leave it, take it or leave it. Ken. Ken, how is your father faring at the hospital? My father would have died today or developed serious stroke if I didn't take him to the hospital the time I did. Jesus. His condition is very serious right now. He has partial stroke. But anyway, the doctor gave me his word. He said he's going to be fine very soon. Ah, thank God. That's exactly what I've been waiting to hear. I can't wait for him to come back to this house, hale and hearty, with his legs on the ground. This. My mother said that what caused my father's illness today was my inability to get a wife for myself by now. Uh-uh. Well, so what are you waiting for? I mean, why are you not getting married? Are you waiting for your parents to die before you get a wife? Why are you talking like this? No, why are you talking like this now? You know, I'm waiting. I'm still waiting for Sonia. You are waiting for Sonia. Seriously? Yes. Posterity will not forgive you, Ken, if your parents die before you get married. That's all I have to tell you. What is this madness? Anyway, I'm traveling to the village tomorrow. I just got a call that my mother is sick, so I, I need to go check up on her. What exactly is wrong with her? I don't know. I intend to find out when I get to the village. I want to take her for treatment immediately. Oh. My son, I was so worried about you. I even thought that something terrible might have happened to you. I have told you to stop thinking like that. I've told you to stop thinking like this. Now that over worrying and thinking has raised your bl blood pressure. But don't you know that high BP takes one to an early grave? Hogine Buzenka. It's better that I die than to lose my only child. God forbid. Amen. You will not die. Yes, there was an attack at my base, but it wasn't at the particular place I was. So it didn't affect anything. 
I didn't come back the day I said I would because I went with Ken to his village. Oh, so how is he? He's fine, Mama. Himself and his mother gave me money to take care of you at the hospital. Eh? Mama, you need to see Ken's house. I was there. Ken's loyal to you. His father is a king. Are you serious? I am serious, Mama. Sorry, Mama. So let me get you water. My love, I want to ask you something. I know you're not going to feel bad if I ask you the question. Promise me you won't feel bad if I ask you the question. I don't really know what you want to ask me. I will not take on. Go ahead and ask the question. Will you marry me? What did you just say? My love, please, I beg you. Please marry me. I promise to love you all the rest of my life. I've never felt like this before. You're the only one that is making me to feel the way I'm feeling now. Why are you laughing? What did I do? Is it bad to propose to someone on the phone? Ujunwa, I just want to apologize to you for the way I spoke to you the last time. I, I know I, 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 I was really wrong. It was bad of me. Please do forgive me. And also to thank you for everything you have done for Mama. She told me all. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. I love Mama so much. She's like my mom. I yeah. love her so much. Still, it is not your duty. You went out of your way to help her. It's my responsibility as her son to take care of her. <laughs> okay, enough. Can we talk less about Mama and talk more about us? I mean, both of us. Us. <laughs> yes, man. You know I love you. But I don't know why you hate me with so much passion. Or oh, am I not beautiful enough to be your girlfriend? How can you say I hate you? You're one of the most wonderful people I've seen. You're a beautiful girl in and out. You have a wonderful soul. How can you say I hate but you? What? Why? Why are you treating me the way you do? Why? You want see, I am not... I... I... Wait, I... I, I have to go take care of Mama. She'll be needing my attention, okay? okay. You just drive safely as you go. That's one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That's one. Oh my god, why? I'm not a playboy and I can never be a playboy so what do you call a man proposing to a girl over the phone a girl he has never seen never met before in his life what, what kind of a man does a stupid thing like that hmm? are you saying that I'm a stupid no no that's not what I mean no no don't take it that way Ken I mean the act itself is very stupid this I love that girl very much but you know, the pressure of getting married, which is coming from my parents, is too much on me. Hence, you decided to propose to a girl you have never, ever met in your life. Listen to yourself, Ken. What if she turns out to be a ghost? Okute, what is it? I can't remember calling your attention. I am sorry, my prince. Hey. The king and the queen demands for your presence immediately. I hope all is well. I wouldn't know, my prince. But when you get there, you'll find us. Can, can, can you not just do that? 
Can you imagine? Yeah, please. And what is that you normally scratch under your groin there? Um, it's okay. Just, just, just go with that thing you're scratching there. I'm right behind you. Uh. Oh, put a leaf. Hmm? I don't really understand what you're talking about. Mama, this man does not like me. He hates me with passion. Why will you say a thing like that? Mama, I know he does not like me. He has said it severally. You mean this month told you that he hates you with passion? No, Mama. He, he didn't say it that way. But within me, I know. I know he does not like or feel anything for me. I know. My daughter, I understand you. But I can assure you that this month does not hate you. Yes. He's just being carried away by his sail to take us out of poverty. Did you know one book it up? If I see no do I knock it up? But don't worry. I will talk to him. You know? You talk to him? Ah, uh -uh. Why won't I? You know I can never miss you. You are my daughter in law. You know? If you say so, Mama. Is this what you're making today? Yes, we will eat it now. I hope you will. Why not? Let me help you. It's alright. Who is that young man to you? And what will both of you do now there? Father, this man is my friend and you know it. Why are you asking me this kind of question? How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you question me in my palace? Father, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but you, you, you... Will you shut up before I shut it up with a slap for you? My king, please calm down. Remember your health condition. How dare you tell me about my health condition when your useless son here has decided to drag my name in the mud? The rumor has it all over this kingdom that the both of them are gay. May the ghost forbid. Ken, is that true? Mother, that is not true. Oh, you're not calling me a liar. Dad, I am not calling you a liar. But it's the person that brought this, this false rumor against me and my friend that we are gay. Father, I'm not gay. This man is not gay. He's the reason I came out from university with a higher grade. We are not what they say we are. Then prove them wrong by taking a wife. That is what everybody wants you to do. Even tradition demands that of you. Mother, it's not easy as you think. I can just jump into marriage just like that. If I do it, I will make mistakes. Ken, my health condition is not perfect. Anything can happen anytime. May the gods forbid. You will not die. Do not force me into choosing a wife for you. Because if I do, nothing, I mean nothing will stop you from marrying her. Even if I decide to choose a mad woman for you. May the gods forbid that. It's a royal decree. So take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. This is royalty. You take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. They say that we are both gay, and that's more reason I don't want to get married. Blood of Jesus. Who could have come up with such a wicked rumor? I don't know who said that to my father. <laughs> why don't you just why don't you just do as they have said so that you save us this embarrassment? Get married. That's the only way we can be vindicated. What is holding you back? This I want to do this as fast as possible. But Sonia is not helping much. And you just stop with this Sonia story? What is wrong with you? How can you be hallucinating over a, 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 a ghost, more or less? Talking, telling me you want to get married to, to, to a girl you have never met. Are you, are you okay? 
Listen to me. I have seen this. Your problem has assumed a spiritual dimension. I'm going straight to your parents to tell them what's going on. I forbid you from saying that to my father. Then bring your head home and forget about this fantasy. This girl is an illusion. You have never met her. You don't even know what she looks like. Someone you have never met before. This is not normal. How about Aka? This. I am in love with only one lady. And that lady is Sonia. And she's the one I want to get married to. And you, Des, is going to be my best man on that day. I will not. Me, Chonia. Me, oh, Chonia. It's not me and you. And don't talk. I will not do it. One day by force. No, no way. You did it again. It's not by force. You must not by force. You are not making your wife. I don't know why I'm going to pay. Who's going to go for more? Ma, <laughs> ma, uh, how is your friend there uh, and his parents you went to see today? Oh, mama, they are fine, very fine. They send their regards. I hope you are enjoying the man. Mm? I like is an understatement. I love it. <laughs> you know I always enjoy your meals. You can cook. On the contrary, I didn't make the meal. <laughs> you didn't make the food. Who else are you with in this house? Who made it? <laughs> Would you did? And I am happy you are enjoying it. You mean would you make this food? Yes, she came around the time you went to your friend's house. Now, that girl is a very nice girl, oh. too nice. Uh, Mama, hey, how about my young Kadi Pamwai Tapa? I paid to supply me some Pamwai. Did he bring uh, it? Uh, yes, he brought it. Um, I will bring it to you when you finish eating. Oh. Would you kept it in the kitchen? Um, now, like I told you, that girl is a very nice girl. Mama. Biko, can you stop with all this would you talk? Can I not eat in peace? What is your problem? Eh? Can't I eh, say something I, 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 I found out about uh, somebody like her again? But tell me about someone else or some other issue. Not would you? No. That girl is a very nice girl. Oh. And she has a very good home training. Eh? I might have seen you do not want me to eat this food. Jide zeya kachifo. This month. I'm going to sleep. But this month. Good night. This month. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. So you guys have grown wing that you cannot wash my car anymore? No, no, my friends. I asked you to wash that car and what happened? My friends, it was his turn to, to wash the car. His turn? But I told you to do it first. Sorry, my friends. I, 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 sorry. So, 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 so I'll give it to I'll give you a message to do and you telling another person to do it. No, no, my friend. Let's stand if I if I hey! to, Thank you. If I ask you to do Thank something. You, sorry, my friend. Thank you. Me? I, I was thinking of it. Shut up, up my friend. Hey. 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 Come on, get off from that place. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. 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 Where are you coming from this early morning? Father, good morning. I said, where are you coming from this early morning? I rushed to pick something from someone. Have you found yourself the young lady that is going to be your wife? Father, I told you to give me some time to sort myself out on this. I, I, I don't want to make mistakes. Give me the car key. What? I don't understand. What are you trying to do? I said let me have the car key. Let me have that car key. From today, you are forbidden from using any car in this palace. <laughs> Father, I know you're possibly 
not serious about what you just said. What I just gave you is a royal decree. Flout it and face the consequences. Father. It's a royal decree. You take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. What else is he doing there? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. What else is he doing there? <laughs> Just battling with this uh, goosey. Ah, let me help you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my son. Hey. So, how did you go? I mean, uh, they are meeting with Okechuku, the bricklayer. Ah, Mama. Hmm. Okechuku is calling one ridiculous amount. The mm. kind of money he's mentioning, I can't afford to give it to him for him to just build me a small fish pond. Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'll look for someone who can take a lesser amount of money and still give me what I want. No problem. Meanwhile, um, Uju came here looking for you. Uju? Mm. Why was she looking for me? Am I owing her? Um, she said um, her father is helping people to secure jobs at federal level. So she came to find out if you will be interested. <laughs> Why does she want her father to offer me a job? I think that is not supposed to be the question here. The question should rather be, are you interested in the job? Well, if, <laughs> if it's genuine and there are no ulterior motives, I'll take the job if it comes. But if it's what I am suspecting, Tell her to tell her father to give someone else that job. Why are you so stubborn? Eh? What did this girl do to you that you hate her this much? I have not told you I hated her. I don't hate her. I just don't want to be tied to the wrong person. You never can tell... Mama, if you do not stop this discussion or change this topic, I'll, I'll take my leave. Mom, I don't, I, I don't understand. What is going on? Eh? What's wrong with that? Why must that seize my car? I don't want to be part of this discussion. Mom, what are you talking about? Whatever that happened between you and your father this morning should be between the both of you. Don't involve me. Mom, is this a conspiracy? Huh. Call it whatever you want. I don't give a damn. But please, keep me out of it. Mom! Now, leave my room. I said leave my room! It's a ruin as the queen. You take it or leave. Take it or leave. This is royalty. You take it or leave. Take it or leave. taking a trip overseas. That's my king. And I know you will take me along with you. Who else will I go if not you? <laughs> I'm the king of your kingdom. Your highness. 
You will live long. <laughs> long live the queen. What is the excitement all about? Father, I have found her. You have found her? Please go straight to the point. <laughs> I have found the girl I want to make my wife. Mm -hmm. I am so excited with this news. In fact, this is the best news I've heard from you ever since you came back. Um, who is she? And where is she from? Hope she is very beautiful. Mom, I think she's beautiful because from her sweet voice, I can see her beautiful face. <laughs> In fact, she's beautiful. What do you mean by that? Don't you know a beautiful girl when you see one? I don't understand what you mean by you can see her beauty through her voice. <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I have not seen her before, but I know I love her very much. And she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. She'll be visiting not tomorrow. Congratulations, son. Now you're talking like a real man. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. My king, why are you congratulating him? Did you not hear what he said? That he has not seen the girl he wants to marry for the first time. I don't care if he has seen her before or not. All I am interested is for the prince to know how to do the right thing. As long as he chooses the woman by himself, son, Father. you have my blessings. <laughs> How do I look? Smashing. Like the Prince Charming you are. I hope you're not trying to flatter me. No, no, no. Far from that, I'm not flattering you. Honestly, you're looking very good. And I think she'll be very happy seeing you dressed like this. Okay? Um, this, you know, I, I'm thinking of wearing something casual. You know, I didn't tell her I'm a prince. <laughs> Can listen to me. Even a blind person will sense this is a palace the moment they walk into the school. So there is no point. Plus, it's a good thing and a good time for her to know that the person she's been talking with on phone all this while is none other than the crown prince of the ancient city of the kingdom. You know, you know how to use the right word at the right time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No matter how serious or urgent the message might be, does not give you the impetus to walk in here without knocking. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I am sorry, my prince. You know I can be stupid at times. But this message is very, very important. <laughs> uh, this is the very first time a lady is coming into this palace to look for the prince. <laughs> yes, that makes my message so urgent. Is <laughs> she in the palace? Yes, that's her name. She's in the king's uh, city room waiting. Um, Okute, mm -hmm. your sins are forgiven. You put in You can go now. Uh, Very soon. Okay. Tell her I'm coming. <laughs> hey, my prince. Um, Des, why don't you join me? I'm sitting here alone. Please come to me. Three is a crowd. I don't want to be the crowd in your gathering. Des, you're not a crowd. Please, I want you to join me. Excuse me. Come on. Okay, I'll join you when I'm done talking with my mom. Des, please. Oh, no, I've not done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mama. Ken, you didn't tell me you are a prince. Uh, no, I, I'm not Ken. I'm Desmond. 
Ken's brother. Um, I'm sorry he didn't reveal his identity to you. Just find a place in your heart to forgive him. Okay. So where is Ken? Oh, he's in a meeting with some youths. So he said I should come and get you. Sorry, what would you like to drink? Um, nothing. See when I say Ken. Then, let me go and hurry him up so he won't stay long. Okay, thank you so much. You're such a nice person. Okay. Okay. I, I must tell you, you're a beautiful lady. I, I, I take it that you're flattering me. I don't understand what you mean by that. What is it that you don't understand? He said the girl is a cripple. Does that stop him from getting married to her? Father, don't you father me. Were you not the one that told me that you love her so much that you can marry her? I, I, I know I said so. But I never knew she was a cripple. People still do get married to cripples. How could you say a thing like that? My son would not get married to a cripple. Not after your son has made a marriage proposal to her on phone. Ken, were you not the one that told me in confidence yesterday that you have made a marriage proposal to her? May the gods forbid. Ken, how could you do a thing like that? Mother, the pressure was smudged on me. I wanted to prove to you and father that I am not gay. I wanted to, to, to meet up with what tradition demands of me. I never wanted to disappoint you or the kingdom at large. Father, please support me on this and I'll present a better girl. My king, please give him your consent. Whatever plans you have should be handled very carefully. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I will handle it very well. Mother, thank you very much. So, so you can clean up this mess for me. Please. Ken, what is the problem? How, 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 how do I come in? Um, um, uh, um, Sonia is, is not what I expected. At all. She's a cripple. She's on a wheelchair. Uh, so, uh, how, 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 how do I come in? You see, I lost control when I saw her. So I I I I pretended. I I I told her that I'm Desmond Prince Ken's brother. Yes. What? So who, who, who is Ken? I, 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 Prince Ken is in a meeting with some youths. So I, I told her that I'm Desmond, you're Prince Ken. So you're going to pretend that you're Prince Ken. What? What kind of talk is that? What kind of what, what kind of arrangement is that? You want me to go and claim to be you? How? No, I can't. No, I'm big cool. You have to do this for me. You have to do me this great favor. One, clean up this shame. What are you talking about? Okay. What are you talking about? I, I, I don't know. I don't know this girl from anywhere. Money after no You have all who been calling her on phone all, all the way here. Now you have realized she's, she's a cripple, and you want me to go? In the wicked. I'm a bull and the wicked. In the wicked. Wait, wait, wait. Go. So so give me 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 just help me. Help you do what? Please. What kind of talk is this now? How do I help you? How do I come in? Just, just, just go on and... and Help us in this thing in a pool now. Stop saying this. It doesn't even sound right. It's not reasonable. I don't know her. She won't even recognize me. What, what, how? How? Ha! <laughs> you see, you see. Just protect. What is this now, eh? Where do I start? I've never done this before. How do I... How, how? This girl is a cripple. I want to be 
You think I call it this thing? Bikon, just do it for me, Bikon. They do the idiot here, please. I like from this thing, okay? What is this now? Eh? How can I go and begin to pretend to, 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 to be. How do I act that one and make him? Today, what I'm trying to say is that I've already told her how much I love her and and, 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 and I've already told her she believed okay, me that okay, I'm different okay, from okay, any other man. If 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 if, if I, I I I accept to be Ken yes. in order to save your face, yes. I, I can tell her the moment I see her that I don't like her anymore that she, she can go her way, right? No, 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 don't do that. She'll feel bad, she'll feel hurt because she already, already believed that I love her and, and I'm very different from any other man. Every other man. You know, just 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 pretend. Just cook up a story and date her and maybe after some time you can you can do that. People with the boy you can. People with the boy man, not the obvious. What how can you be telling me? Can anything I call this thing? I'm a prince! It doesn't make sense! What do you want me to do to good? Oh yeah, that Ungulo, I'm a prince! Ungulo! Hey! I, oh. I, I, I didn't bargain for this, so I, I kept warning you. I kept saying it to you. I kept telling you this. You would not listen. Now you want everything to land on my head. What is this now? Please, do this for me. I'm only doing this for you because of all the years you have helped me. And I'm not doing this with my eyes on my mind. I'm only going there to pretend. And that is just to cover your face. Hey, one In as much as my eyes are closed, I can still see through your beautiful heart that you are my Mr. Handsome Prince Ken. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting, my love. Please find it in your beautiful heart to forgive me. I was held up in a meeting. This month, your brother told me, please stand up before your father, the king sees you that a prince like you is kneeling before a commoner and a crippled like me. Please. Sonia, that you are in this condition does not make you any less a human being. Moreover, you are also royalty because we all are children of the Most High God who is the King of Kings. You are indeed different from other men. I blessed the day I met you through your social media without pictures. I do. It's alright, you're welcome. So what do I offer you? Anything from your heart, my friends. Anything of my choice? Yes. One minute. <laughs> Your eyes are not good. <laughs> well, finally, man, you are real in there. You know, when you were talking to her in there, you were so real. I felt this emotion in your voice. You were so wonderful. <laughs> I, I think you go and join these Nollywood people, you know, you will do well there. How did you even see all of that? I was peeping through the window. <laughs> I felt as much. And the truth is, that girl is a nice person. She has a golden heart. Huh? She has a pure heart. All through the time I was interacting with her, I felt, <laughs> I felt kind of drawn to her. I kept telling myself, she doesn't deserve to be hurt in her condition. I think she needs to, to be loved and cared for. Then, please, make it real. Love her for real, and I'll support you with everything you need for it. And I'm confused. I'm really confused. I don't think you're confused. You're falling in love. 
you are already falling in love. Please, don't hold this thing back, okay? Just let it flow for my sake. Please. It's been two days since your crippled friend came here. I remember you vividly promised to present another lady to me. What's keeping you in doing so? Nothing further, I'm working on it. Every human being on earth walks close to his or her grave by each passing day. I am not getting any younger. I want to be able to carry my grandchildren before I join my ancestors. Why are you deliberately denying me this? I don't know nothing. Then what are you doing? Father, I gave you my word. I am not going to disappoint you. I am working towards fulfilling my promise. You have no reason to panic much. I have every reason to panic. Ken, the word patience is gradually fading away from my syllabus. Don't allow it to fade away completely. It has not gotten to this. Good night, Ken. I said good night. Children, maybe my great grandchildren. Hail Mary, sexy Mary, gorgeous Mary, Mary Mary. Yes, Mary. Yes. Mary, 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 yes. Mary, 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 Good evening, how are you? I'm doing well, my love. I can't say that tomorrow is my birthday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, my darling. So how are you celebrating it? I live in Cox, you used to say I always like my man to show me. Yeah, I celebrate my birthday. Oh, yeah, that, that's cool. But don't you think it's too sudden for me to come up with a place now? You still have plenty of hours before morning. I believe you can do something with it. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow morning. Let me think about it. I'll be waiting. Good night, my love. Good night, my love. Can I get my phone? Tomorrow is Sonia's birthday. She called to ask me where I would want it celebrated. If you're seeking for my opinion, I suggest you buy her a gift, flex her around, you know, then finally take her to a good restaurant and buy her a dinner, good dinner. Just look at the way you're rambling. Well, good suggestion, but I don't have money for all of that. But don't worry, I'll give you money tomorrow. I remember I am supposed to give you something. Okay, so how did the meeting with your father go? I wouldn't want to discuss that right now. But I know he's not happy with me. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy 
Thank you so much. It's our honor to celebrate this very special day with you. So we have come to have fun, to make merry, and make our special auntie a wonderful birthday celebration. I'm glad we are here today. In that light, I would wish to bring forth her cake. So I will have you all join me at the spelling of the name Jesus Christ. She will cut the cake. Now place your hand on the knife. So kids, let's go. J-E-S-U-S That's a wonderful one. Thank you so much kids. It's an honor and thank you for having us today. I'm having the fun of my life. Thank you for having us celebrate this wonderful day with this very fantastic God-giving children. I want to give this little token to assist in their daily upkeep. To the glory of God. Thank you so much. Thank you, kids. Thank you, kids. It's an honor. So you come around. I will take snapshots with Auntie Sonia. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, guys. Let's do this. The kids. Yeah, say cheese! Cheese! Okay, let me join in it. Say cheese! Cheese! Thank you very much. I'll Thank go back you. to your seat. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the best birthday I've ever celebrated all my life. Welcome. I'm glad you had fun. Can you do me a favor? What favor? Close your eyes and then give me your hand. Is that the favor? To close my eyes? Okay. My eyes are closed. You can now open your eyes. Wow! This is beautiful! You like? I don't like, I love it! I'm glad you do. Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome. It's beautiful. I'm glad you do. Thank you so much, my sky. You're welcome. Come here. Ah, Mama. Good evening. Good evening. Mama, welcome. Thank you, Mama. How are you doing? Fine, though. Very well. And how are you? I'm fine. Um, there's something we have to discuss. But let me first off, I'll get you something to eat. Uh, don't worry, Mama. I am not hungry. I bought this for you. Mm. By the way, who is that crippled girl you have been with throughout today? Crippled girl? Ha, who, who told you about her? Is that why you didn't even check what I bought for you? 
Why are you answering question with a question? I said, who is that crippled girl you have been with all day? Onye kobo. Eh? Kedo onye mo onye Nigeria. She's my friend. Your friend? Hmm. So, you prefer a crippled girl to a good looking and nice girl like you do? Whose father is rich? In Azikwia? Eh? Why are you talking like this? You will regret calling me mother. If I ever see you anywhere around that girl again, you will never bring in a creep onto my house. Never! How? Who, who told Mama about Sonia? Your Highness. Oh, no. That man is very troublesome. He is always in the habit of intimidating people. Oh, no. Are you sure of what you're telling me? By the gods, I am not telling you lies, my king. Chukuka is not the owner of that land. The land belongs to Mbakwe. Chukuka is only dragging that land because he feels that Mbakwe is a nobody. And if I may add, Chukuka has claimed a lot of land that does not belong to him simply because the owners have no one to speak for them. If that is the case, he, Chukuka, must return that land to Mbakwe, the rightful owner, or he will have me to contend with. Go and tell him I said so. Yes. Thank you, my king. You're welcome. He that fetches wet firewood will suffer the effect during use. I must be on my way. Bye, you know. My king. I thought I heard you discussing with Ono. What exactly were you people talking about? It was the land dispute between Chukoka and Mbakwe. And he said the land does not belong to Mbakwe. Exactly what I heard from five different women yesterday. And where do you think you're going? Oh, my father, I want to take a walk outside the palace. Uh, on whose permission? I don't understand the question. Will you get back inside before I lose my temper on you? What is going on? You are forbidden from leaving this palace until you decide to do what is expected of you. Father, you can't do that to me. It's a royal decree and you know what will happen if you go against it. Him. One more word from you, you will see the other side of me. You are a special gift from above. I never knew men like you still exist. How do you mean? You love with your whole heart, not just with your mouth and eyes. And you don't allow your status to cloud your sense of love. You're truly a special gift from me both. Okay, I know you are set to flatter me today, but please, save the flattery, I've had enough. 
No, I'm not flattering you. Heaven and earth knows I'm saying the truth. I am not. Anyway, when is your birthday coming up? Next week. Why do you ask? Okay. I'm going to bring a very big surprise package for you. <laughs> you want to get me a big package? <laughs> yes. Please, my love. Honestly, I appreciate that. But please, don't waste your money trying to buy me expensive things. You know I won't take it. <laughs> you won't reject it if I bring it for you. Mm -mm. Don't waste the money you do not have to get me a birthday gifts. I appreciate you every day. Okay? Mama, where are you coming from? I want to see a friend, please. I Jesus! Mama! Why did you slap me? What have I done? I will slap you again if you don't shut your mouth up. So you think you can disobey me now, eh? What wrong did I do now, Mama? Stop saying that, cripple. Stop! So it's about her. You know about her. Mama, who, who's been telling you about her because we don't meet in this village? You have been stalking me. I decided to be kind today. Next time I'll be hot water. Be warned. Me quit more than this banana. Me quit half of this before going to give me up this month. And you couldn't even know no balance. You go back to me. Father is taking this whole thing too far, and I don't like it. I can't take it anymore. Calm down, my prince. Take it easy. Don't tell me to calm down. You don't. You, you, didn't you see that humiliation? I understand how you. No, feel. no, 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 no. You don't. You don't understand. I do. The truth is that your father overreacted, but remember, he is trying to protect the interest of the family by embarrassing me in front of the guards, giving me that kind of insult, eh, on my personality. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I am sorry about that. In fact, I apologize on his behalf. The only thing you have to do now is to see what you can do about the situation at hand. That was exactly what I was going to do before the embarrassment. What do you mean by that? I was going to see someone that I'm about to present to you people before, before this whole thing came up. But as it is now, I am not doing it anymore. Whatever that will happen, will let it happen. I'm going down the village road to see someone. Uh, okay, I've been to your house like three consecutive times and you were nowhere to be found. Even Mama doesn't know your whereabouts, so where have you been up to these days? What kind of question is that? How can you ask a grown man like me where I've been going to? Where, where is that coming from? Are you my wife? Okay. Listen to me, Uju. It is still morning. And I wouldn't want you to spoil my day for me. It's okay. I won't want you to feel bad either. I'm heading to your house now. Can you come into the castle? We'll go together. 
Is something wrong with your ear when I told you I was going to see someone down the road? It's concerning the job offer I told Mama about. Well, if the job is genuine and you don't have any ulterior motive, I'll take it. But if there are any hidden agenda, I'm sorry. That's what is it? What is it? Why are you treating me the way you do? I mean, what is it that that local cripple girl gives to you that's making you act to me the way you do? What did she give to you? I see. So it's you. You are the one who's been telling Mama all those things. Stop following me around. You are not my wife. What is wrong with you? Why are you following me around? Why are you stalk? Are you my wife? Now listen to me. Henceforth, stop stalking me. And keep to yourself. Yes, ma'am, please. Just stop. Just stop already. Is it a crime for me to fall in love with you? Is it a crime for me to like you? You are what? not my wife. Stop following me around. Do not say I didn't warn you. So she's been the one telling mother about Sonia. She mistakenly told me she has seen you with her. Did she tell you how many times and where she has been seen both of you? And you have to be very careful. She blows up our cover. I know, I know what to do. So how have you been going with your search for a wife? My brother, the whole place is tight. As, I'm, as I speak to you right now, I am not meant to go out of the palace. What? So how are we going to do about the birthday? Mm, don't bother about that one. Don't bother. Don't bother yourself. I will take care of it. Everything is under control. Okay? Okay. I trust you on that. Okay. Happy birthday in advance. <laughs> I did the boy. <laughs> okay. Bye. sleeping. Why are you still awake by this time of the night? A man does not sleep when his house is on fire. You and your son have taken away sleep from my eyes. I think you should give him a break. How do you mean? I spoke with him and he's not happy the way you are treating him. If actually he means what he told me, it then means the unthinkable might happen. And what exactly did he say to you? He made it clear to me that he would not do what you asked him to do. The prince said such a thing to you and you did not tell me. What type of a wife are you? Don't you know what will happen if he ever does that? I had wanted to tell you about it, but you would not let me. Why are you now blaming me? Why? Talk to him. Talk to your son. Tell him he has every reason to do whatever we ask him to do. Tell him he can now drive the cars again. That he's no longer banned from leaving the palace. Talk to him. You are the best person in the right position to tell him that. Why do you say so? Because you are the one that passed the royal decree and not me.
person come out, eh? Okay. You should just relax. They're nice people. Okay? Don't have any problem. Long live the king and queen of Inyubuku Ancient Kingdom. Father, it is well with you, my daughter. You may take a seat. Thank you, Your Highness. Um, I greet you, my father. I greet you too, son. I greet you, my mother. It shall be well with you, son. Please you sent on. for us. Yes, I, I did. I want to use this opportunity to introduce to you the maiden of this great kingdom, whom I want to make my wife. If both of you will permit me and give me your consent, I will do as the tradition demands of me. This is great news. This is good news. I like this. My son, you have spoken very well. My daughter. Your Highness. What is your name? Who are your parents? And which village in this kingdom are you from? Um, your Highness, my name is Chamaka Njoko. My father is Mazi Ibebulam. I am from Amoba village. You are welcome to this family. Your people will hear from us soon. Thank you, Your Highness. Hey, son, go get us something to drink. Okay, it's calls for celebration. Igwe. <laughs> Make sure the maiden stop our. Wow. To the peace and happiness in the family you are about to start. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I am not happy with you. Why? I expected you to come on time and assess her for me. Yeah, right. I'm sorry about that. I was held up. I would have come here early enough. It's okay. Sonia called before your arrival. She says she will be coming to meet us here before we go for your birthday celebration. Oh, really? That's good. Thanks to the gods, I'm here early enough to meet all of that. <laughs> Who is that person? I've not seen her before. Is that the girl you introduced to your parents today as your bride? No. I've not seen this person before. Are you sure? I am sure. You mean you don't? Good evening, my friends. Good evening. Why are you guys looking at me like you saw a ghost? Sonia. Yes, my dad. Sorry. What happened? You, 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 you got healed or what? I remember telling you that I was going to surprise you on your best day. This is a surprise. The real charity was just an act. I never had any bad legs. Yes. You see, I had a terrible experience in my last relationship. A man I truly loved so much broke my heart as in he dealt with me. I felt like the only way for me to know a man that loved me so much, that truly loved me, is by disguising myself this way to see if you yourself will even like me and you loved me in my condition This is exactly what you've been telling me right from the first time I met you. Why are you like this? Why have you decided to be so wicked to me? I thought you said you love me so much. Chris, I love you and you know it. Dear, let's, let's just do it. Chris, I'm scared. I'm scared about what? I... Chris, I... Uh... 
I made the promise to God that I can only give my virginity to that man that will, that will love me with all his heart. To that man that will love me to the extent of making me his wife. And I don't want to break that promise. Oh. I see. So, are you trying to tell me that I don't love you with all my heart? No, that's not what I mean, Chris. Then, let's just do it. I promise I will make you the mother of my unborn kids. Are you sure, Chris? Are you sure? I swear, with my unborn children, never to disappoint you. I love you so much. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Baby, you didn't sound well on phone. Baby, what's happening to you? Baby, you're crying. Oh my goodness. I just... I just feel like ending this life. God forbid. You will do no such thing to yourself. Look at me. Take a closer look at me. I might not offend you. Yeah. Tell me. Oh no. Baby, you cannot be a failure. You're not a failure. No. Oh. Calm down. Take it easy, please. My sister is around. I don't want her to hear your voice. Okay? Oh, Relax. pride. What other pride does a fellow like me have? Oh, Tell me. Oh my what other pride? So that I don't, I don't have any more pride. Okay? The more I try to understand you, the more confused I become. What's happening? What's the problem? Maybe talk to me. My goods. They are all gone. My 20 million naira worth of goods. Okay. They are all gone. Calm down. I just feel like killing myself. It's okay. Calm down. Explain to me how did it happen? The custom officers seized my and destroyed my goods. Oh my life. goodness. Why didn't you tell me about this? Just a phone call. Everything will be placed in order. You don't know. I didn't know. My friend called me a couple of minutes ago. To tell me that. You know what? I borrowed 10 million naira to add to the one you gave me to order those goods. And now I'm a debtor. It's okay, baby. It's okay, okay? You will never be a debtor. Neither will you kill yourself. Um, just give me this work. Okay? I will, I will. I will give you some money to pay. I will give you some money to pay the guy you collected money from and um, so that you can go back to your business again. I can't believe you're saying this. Yes, baby, I said sure. it. Sure. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh. What would I have done without you? It's okay. I just don't want you to cry again. Don't tell me that you want to kill yourself again. Okay? I want. Never to leave each other. 
And you know that I never loved her one bit. Come on, I'm only playing by the rules now. Because of Alex Father's money, so I can get it from her. Huh? Are you sure? Are you sure you're still sticking to the plan? Why are you doubting me? Say, I just want to get the 20 million naira she promised to give to me next week. After lying to her that the custom officers seized and destroyed my cruising papers. Baby, my own is, I don't just want to hear you shifted around again. This time, please. I'm begging. Hmm. Okay. See, once I lay my hands on that one, guess what? What? Moon, yes. Yes. Oh, tell me now, I'm not with that guest. We'll leave this town to a better place. <laughs> you and I. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god. Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Chris! We leave this weekend! I thought you loved me. Chris, I was willing to do anything for you, Chris! This is a 20 million naira I promised to give you. Chris, how did you get to my private parlor? I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I... I... You are what, Chris? Chris, you are so heartless. Chris, I gave you my heart. I gave you my pride as a woman. Chris, I gave you my money. Chris. What did I get back in return? Chris, you're so heartless. I thought you were a human being, Chris. What? I, I'm sorry. I, I honestly don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. I, I still love you. What are you talking about? You're talking about love, Chris. Chris, you're talking about love. Do you know anything about love? I'm sorry. Chris, you betrayed me. Chris, me. I've got something I did. Okay. You gotta forgive me. Please, Chris, leave my pal of it. I still love you. You're not understanding me, right? Chris, I am not coming to you. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out.
This is a check of 10 million naira that I promised you. Yeah. Cool. Cash it out of it. Add it to whatever amount you have. And join your friend for the said business. Oh, oh, are you for real? This is, this is amazing. <laughs> well. Baby, you know I can do anything to make you happy. Mm-hmm. But you hardly deserve all this. I mean, you've you've shown me you've shown me enough love and care that I I I don't just know what to say. Baby, you deserve more than you've gotten already. You do. Uh, I love you. I love you too. You know what? I promise never to disappoint you. That's my baby talking. It's Come here! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I love you. I love you more. So amazing. Yeah. Oh, I'm so wicked. After everything I did for you, he has the devil himself. You will never go and punish for all this nonsense you did in my life. For deceiving me, Chris, you will never go and punish. Come on, sister. What you want to do right now is not the best option for you. Come, see, leave my room. What are you going to tell God? 
that he took your own life just because of a man? He was not just a man to me. That man is my love. So he thought. But he proved it wrong. I've lost everything to him. What am I living for? What? You will live for your future husband. You will live for your unborn kids. Sister, you will live for me. What are you going to tell our dead parents when you meet them over there? And that you took your own life just because of a man? Come on, sister. Can't say. This is what I know right now. Leave! So after that terrible betrayal, I felt that I should disguise myself to find a real man that would love me with his heart. When he showered me with love, I concluded you are the real man for me. I decided to reveal my identity to you. That's my story. Thanks. But you, you lost your sister in the process. No. I didn't. Um, she was just acting that she she's very much alive. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm, 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 I'm dumbfounded. Um, I'm sorry. I think he's... I think I should allow both of you to celebrate this together. Yes. Okay. He has a point. Uh, this month you can always go with us, okay? <laughs> We are in the venue of your birthday celebration. <laughs> Just the both of us. Oh, oh, wait. This is beautiful. You like it? I love this. I wasn't expecting to see. How, how did you prepare all of this? You can now make a wish and cut your cake. Goodness. The birthday begins. I wish that this relationship of ours lasts till eternity. Amen. We shall have reasons to be together forever. Amen. Woo! Get your glass. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah. Together forever. Forever together. Wow! Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, you mean Desmond is not home now? I have not seen him, my daughter. He left house since afternoon. Till now, I have not seen him. Did he tell you if he will be back home today or not? Uh, he didn't mention anything to me. He only told me that he was going to celebrate his birthday with his friend. His friend? 
that cripple. God forbid. After all my warnings to him, no, he can't. I'm sure he must be with the prince. Okay, not a problem, honey. It's a gift I brought for him. Tell him I gave it to him and then wish him a happy birthday for me. I'll come back later to see him. Well, oh. Thank you, my daughter. You're welcome, Mama. Hell. Yeah. I'll be on my way now. Please try and set me, no? Thank you. Hi. I wish my son would see what I saw in this girl. Hmm? This morning, me pay nine again. Eh? Me pay nine for us. Hey. I don't understand you. Have you been... Dr Obviously, you have been drinking. Don't insult me. I am more sober than you are. Okay. What makes you think you just come and take away Sonia from me just like that? Do you know how much I've spent mailing her? Do you know how much I've spent calling that girl? For over seven months now, you think you can just come and just take her away from me, just like that. Meanwhile, you know she's the only girl I've ever been in love with. Ken, where is this coming from? Seriously, where, where are you driving to with all of this? I, I don't get your point one bit. This was a girl you rejected. In fact, you practically asked me to go act in your place. And I took her in. So stop firing as if I stole her from you. That is exactly what you did. Now I am going to turn it around. You would tell her that you are acting in my place. You are this one. You are not Prince Ken. I am Prince Ken. So allow Prince Ken to take his girl. <laughs> anyway, I, I am tired. I've had a long day. I need to go rest. <laughs> you don't work out on me or what I'm Do you know who I am? Do you know where you are? This is my father's house. I am Prince Ken. This is my house. So you don't walk out on me when I'm talking. If I'm talking to you, listen to me! You are actually serious with this, I can see. When I suddenly come into you, why are you just realizing yourself? Why did you reject her in the first place? What do you call all this rubbish? Why did you reject and abandon her right in here? And now you're coming to tell me rubbish? Be reasonable for once. Me, unreasonable? You look me in the face and you're telling me that I'm unreasonable in my house. Me, Prince Ken. Excuse me. Who's even talking? I'm tired, I don't have your time, let me rest. How did I am talking and you're looking at me? 
You're holding me by my cloth. That is my cloth. I'm holding my cloth. If I want, I will tear it. Can you please? You don't talk when I'm talking. So shut up! Can't leave me alone. Come on, you You have the God to push me. You have the God to push me. Hello, that's me. How are you? Maybe you're not sounding well. What's the matter? You fought with the prince? Oh, my goodness. Uh, how, how, how did it happen? He threw me out of the palace. Oh my goodness. Okay. Fine, where are you at the moment? Front of the palace. Okay. Just busy. I'm coming to pick you right now. Oh, So now he wants me back. After dumping me to you. Well, he can't get back what he rejected. Providence brought us together. Meanwhile, you have to stay here for the meantime. Let me go get a place for you. Stay here? No. How can I stay here when I have a home? I'll go back to my mother. I know she needs me very well. I have to go keep her company. Moreover, staying here is just a waste of money. Hey, hey, hey. Desmond, I am the one paying. And I'm not complaining. Okay? If you look at the bruises on your face. If, if, if you go home, your mom is not going to be happy with that. I know mothers. She can't bear it. And beside it, a young man like you is not supposed to stay in the village. Okay? I don't even know what to say. You don't have to have to say anything. All you need now is good rest. <laughs> All you need is good rest. Okay? Please. You mean that idiot had the guts to fight you in my palace? Yes, father. You mean the Desmond that I know? I can't believe this. This is a big insult to my throne. I will not take it. No! I will never take it. No one touches the tail of a cobra and goes free. I will make him feel the taste of my venom. My king, please take it easy. Please. Don't you dare ask me to take it easy because you are part of this whole problem. How do you mean, my king? How? I never liked that young man the moment I set my eyes on him. I never wanted him in this palace, but you insisted that he stays. Now look at the problem he's causing all over the place. Um, um, Father, please, take it easy on mother. Don't put the blame on her. I am the cause of all these things. Okay? Please, I promise I'll take care of it. I will handle it, I promise. Ken, my prince, I've come to apologize about what happened the other day. I know both of us lost our cool, but I blame myself for not restraining myself from, from getting that angry. <clears throat> I promise to replace every single thing that damaged during the fight. <laughs> so you think you can replace all the damages? 
Yes, I will. Okay then. Let's start with the damage done to my heart. I... I don't understand. You won't understand because you don't know who you're dealing with. By the time I'm through with you, you will soon know. Okuta! You can't just allow a little fracas to tear us apart. It won't be nice. We're more like brothers and you know it. Take this man out of here. What is the problem? I'm not in the mood to talk to you. You might not be in the mood to talk to me, but let me warn you. Stay away from the prince. Now leave this place before the king comes out and meet you. Leave now. Oh yeah. Go. Get. I say go now. Stop doing that and following me now. It's okay now. My prince, you've been very moody. You've not said a word to me since I got in here. Is something wrong? I am not in the mood to talk. What do you mean by that? I demand to know what is wrong with my man. My love, you know you can't talk to me. What is the problem? Did someone upset you? I said I am not in the mood to talk. You will be in the mood to talk. What is this? I am going to be your future wife, so you will look at me in the dark always. God! God! My prince, I'm here. Take this thing out of here. Ken! Am I the one you're referring to as a thing? Madam, please leave now. Show her the way to the gate. Ken! Ken! Madam, leave, leave. Do, 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 do not come close to me. I say leave. Fast. Can you regret this embarrassment? the last time you saw the man in 3.05? 3.05? Um, in the morning. Since then I've not seen him again. In the morning? Um, sorry, please help me give him this. Yeah. And um, 
Help me tell him to call me as soon as he comes back. It's very important. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile. Yes, this. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Make sure you tell him to come, it's very important. I will. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, no, Mama. No, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, my daughter. You're welcome, bro. Is this one back? Mm. No, I've not seen him yet. I forbear me. I've been calling his phone since, and it's saying switched off. Maybe his battery went down. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, no problem, Mama. Let me stay here and wait for him a little. <laughs> it's alright. No problem. Eh? You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. Mama, will let me help you? <laughs> Not this time again. Don't worry, I will handle this one. Eh? Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's go inside. Oh, okay. Like I believe. Where have you been? Amaka waited for you all day. Why 
Why did you leave the palace without letting anyone know your whereabouts? Father, I'm sorry about that. I went to see someone. And you left without bothering to tell anyone where you're going to. When you tell anyone that you were the one that asked her to come. Father, I just apologized. Besides, Maka is the least on my mind right now. What do you mean by that? I don't think I can go on with her. In fact, the relationship is... It's over. I think you're going crazy. No, Father, I'm not crazy. I just realized that Sonia is the one spend the rest of my life with her. Now you really need to see a doctor. Big sister, what is bothering you? And who are you calling? My friend, I don't think all is well with him. His phone is not reachable. I've been calling him. Another male friend? Come on! Come off that camp, see. He's not crazy, okay? He's a good person. I just hope another heartbreak is not around the corner. Come see. Is that what you're wishing me? No! God forbid I wish you that. But you really need to be very careful. Seriously, sister, you need to be very careful. My king, I think we should allow him to follow his heart. Is she not the same girl he rejected? Brother, that was because of her condition then. You wouldn't have supported me getting married to her in that condition. Now that you know that she's not crippled, you want to go back to her, right? What would you tell her made you lie that you are not the Prince Ken she came to see? Father, must we go into all that? All I need now is your support on this. That girl is the daughter of Chief Mark Anosie. Mark Oil and Gas, M and G Construction Company, and Ozias Motors. I mean, her father was the kingmaker in this state. Father, getting married to that girl will automatically change us for the best. You do not need to tell me about the late Chief Anozie, even though I was not close to him, because he's known for only associating with people of his class. My only problem is. How do I go about this? I believe if we put our heads together, we must come up with something good. <sighs> Mama, I can't wait any longer. Sure. I'll have to leave. No, you've really tried. Oh? Don't worry, when he comes back, I will let him know that you came. And I will make sure he call you. You know? No problem. My only worry now is that my father is leaving the village tomorrow. And he needs to see him. Odepanama. I hope all is well. All is well, Mama. It's concerning that job I told you about. He needs him to come and fill a form. Oh, in that case, I will go and look for him at his friend's house at uh, a new Google tomorrow. That's if he didn't come back today and we are unable to reach him on phone. Okay, in that case, I'll go with you tomorrow. You will go with me? Mm, I'll have to take you. Hey, no, thank you so much. Oh, There's no problem. All right, Mama, I'll be leaving. It's all right. 
Thank you so much once again for helping me out with the house chores. <laughs> Come on, Mama, anything for you. We're like family, you know that. It's true, dear. It's true. Uh -huh. Please, my regards to your father. Oh. It's okay. Thank bye. you. All right, bye. Oh, good evening, ma'am. Yes, good evening. I've not heard from him since then. Does he mean he's not yet back? Ma, I've not seen him. His key and the package you asked me to give to him are still here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me, ma. Okay. Well, what about the package you asked me to give to him? Okay, um... It's a special kind of food he asked me to bring for him. Um, you can have it if you wish. But if you don't want, you can throw it away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. and surprise. I was about calling you for you to come so we discuss something important. Where is he? Who? Don't pretend like you don't know who I'm talking about. Where is Desmond? Oh, nothing great. He's not in this palace anymore. I mean, he's not a member of this royal family. I don't know where he is. Um, Sonia. Sonia, please, I beg you. I am sorry. I am so sorry for not revealing my identity to you. I was trying to, I mean, to make sure that you really love me. Please. <laughs> well, if that's your game to get me back to you, you're definitely going to lose out because you're not going to get me. And I'm going to find him. Thank you. Wait a minute. Please come. Sonia, I must warn you. This month is a gold digger. He might look innocent, but he is evil as devil himself. He's involved in cultism and other dangerous things. So, you have to be very, very careful. <laughs> Thanks for the information. But if you think you're going to paint him black for me to come back to you, like I told you, you would definitely lose out. Thank you. Um, excuse me, do you still remember my face? Yes, of course I do. But what I don't understand is your recent transformation. What really happened? Oh my goodness. Um, it's a long story that I don't want to talk about now. Mm. Have you seen Desmond lately? No, actually I've not seen Desmond ever since he left the palace. Okay, okay. Do you know where I can find him, please? Chai. Why are these questions? It's very important. I need to say it's very important. Mm. Yes. This month should be with the poor mother in the village now. Poor mother at their house. Okay, um, do you know how I can get to their house? But you will find it difficult to locate his location. Or do you have power and paper? Oh, by round paper. Yeah, I have. It should be in my car. Okay. Can I take you there so you write it for me or something? I will write it down for you. Yeah? Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. okay. Thomas, your son is an ingrate. He betrayed the brother in law and trust my son here had on him. By taking away the only thing that matters to him. Hey, uh, Igwe, please. I am very sorry. I'm so sorry for whatever wrong my son might have done to the prince or this entire royal family. I'm sorry, Biko Ono. Um, 
I, I would uh, like to see him so that I can talk to him. He needs to apologize to the prince and uh, everybody in this uh, royal family for this act. <clears throat> Your son is not in this palace. <gasps> eh? What's your majesty? He left the house for this palace. Yes. Two days ago. Yes. He told me that um, he was coming to celebrate his birthday with uh, the prince. Uh, and since then, he has not returned. He left that same day. Woman, I will advise you to go look for your son. He is not anywhere in this palace. Oma. Now leave my presence. Uh, but he were... Guards! Check out away! Igwe, no, 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 Good day, ma. Good day, my daughter. Ma, I'm a friend to Desmond. Is he around? He's not around, my daughter. He went to his friend's house two days ago. And I am just coming back from that his friend's house where I went to look for him. But I was told by the king that uh, he's not in the palace. And his phone is switched off. I am worried. I just pray that uh, my son is not into any kind of trouble. God forbid, Mama. Nothing will happen to him. He will definitely come back. Um, okay. Anyway. This is my card. Give him the card. He will know who came around. You are a barrister. <laughs> Yes, ma, I am. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hmm. I asked my son to study law in the university, but he refused. He studied uh, economics. Now he has a friend that is a barrister. <laughs> hey. You know, sometimes you children can be funny. And anyway, when he comes back, I will deliver your message. Thank you, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma. I must be on my way now. It's all right. Thank Take you, care of yourself. Bye-bye. Yeah, you. looking for you. But I told her you were nowhere to be found. No matter how she tried, she will never see you. It's like me her wife. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Because of a girl you reject. 
dejected that I took in. And you're still asking me why. Do you want to know why? Anyway. I brought the drink. We got for me. So we drink together and marry together as friends, you know. What are friends for? If not to share things together. Your driver, where? I just wanted to have a feel of tracking and riding on a public transport. And now this is the ask home. You see it? Sorry. Go see, I go see your driver for crying out loud. I go see your driver. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> If I did this to you, will pay dearly for this. It's okay. Let's go and dress up. Let's go and meet the doctor immediately. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. So the doctor confirmed that she was actually raped. Yes, sir. Are you sure? This is the result. It's okay. Um. Young girl, can you identify any of them? I know all their faces. Good. You see, we'll go down to the scene of the crime immediately. I am a man, we must get there, okay? We will arrest anybody she points as a suspect. I know by now they must have disappeared. But I promise you, we'll continue to investigate until we track them down. Okay? Thank you, sir. All Thank right. you so much. One minute, please. <sighs> Sergeant, come to my office immediately. Right now. It's me, it's Desmond. Desmond? Baby, where are you? I'm, I'm somewhere around. Somewhere around Old Nepal. Where, where 
What are you doing there? Where have you been? It's a long story, dear. It's not something I can talk on for now, please. I need to get out of here as soon as possible, but I don't have enough money. Can you come pick me? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Stay there. I'm coming to pick you right now, okay? Okay, thank you. Inspector. Yeah, what is it? We have to pick somebody around that old Nepal office, please. We are again. We have an important assignment on our hand already to carry out. Inspector, why you know? But the person sounded like he's in trouble. He sounded like he's in danger. Please. And you know what? We have to be fast about this thing. I don't want to meet this criminal. You understand? Okay, thank you very much. Bye, Inspector. Let's go to the office. You came back and didn't see it right to call me. Ken, what is going on? I'm talking to someone. Can't you talk without touching me? Can I deserve to know why you treated me that way today? I deserve to know! Do I owe you an explanation? I don't. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever it's supposed to mean, or what it means, is now a history. I am no more longer interested in making you my wife. Kenny? You didn't say that to me. I didn't. You didn't say that to me. I had no water in my mouth when I said what I said. I, young girl, I, are you sure of what you're saying? I am sure. Let's, let's go and get him. Before you escape. Now, hold it there. You move your Me? Yes. Ah! Sonia, what's going on here? You are the criminal that, that escaped from police custody and now you rape an innocent. You are under arrest for murder, rape, and armed robbery. Seize him. Yes, ma'am. Me? How? Oh, when? Who, who raped an, an innocent girl? How? I have never been held by the one criminal. See, you are mistaking me for somebody. I don't know. Listen to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Mr. Mao, shut up. We need an in house shit. Don't worry. I'm going to be special in the film there. Officer, I'm telling you, I don't know what you are accusing me of. I don't know what you are accusing me of. I don't know what you are accusing me of. Officer, see, I. What? I. 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 I.
You promised me your love, hey, yeah. You promised me your heart, hey, yeah. You promised me your love, hey, yeah. Uh. You promised me your heart, hey, yeah. You promised me your love, hey, yeah. You promised me your heart, hey, yeah. Ooh. I must warn you, this month is a gold digger. He might look innocent, but he is evil as devil himself. He's involved in cultism and other dangerous things. So, you have to be very, very careful. This month. Thought you were a very nice man. Thought you were a good man with a nice heart. Thought you were different from other men. I never knew you were the devil himself. That's what you will pay dearly for this. <laughs> Gold is catching me, feel all around, feel it in my body and down to my soul. Your Highness, as a good friend and a loyal servant to the throne, I am highly disturbed with the situation at hand. Oh no, I am more disturbed than you are. In fact, I just don't know what to say anymore. Uh, but, my king, we have to do something. We can't not just sit down and watch uh, and fold our hands and watch things spoil. Oh no, are we going to force a maiden on him? The tradition says he chooses his own wife. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if he's a curse from the gods. Yes! If he's not a curse, why is he trying to bring shame to this royal family? Hey. Uh, Your Highness, please, calm down. We will surely find uh, a solution to this matter. Please. Uh, but please, I beg to take my leave. Thank you, my king. Hi. Thank you, Olo. suffering from the crime he did not commit. I know my son very well. He cannot commit any of the crime they accused him of. Mama, Mama, I know he is innocent. I know he is innocent. Then why are they making him to suffer for what he does not know? Eh? Why do they accuse him of the crime he did not commit? Would you look at the injuries on his body? They want to kill my only child for me. God forbid, Mama. God forbid. Mama, that cannot happen. It's not possible. They can't kill him. It's as if you don't know our place. They can do anything. Anything. Mama, that will be over my dead body. I won't let anything happen to him. No. Don't worry, Mama. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to him. What do you think you can do? Eljungwa. Those people are very bad. They are evil. They use the power given to them to oppress the helpless. The same people that are supposed to be protecting. Mama, I think we need to get a lawyer. <laughs> A lawyer? Yes, we need to look for a very good lawyer as quick as possible for him. It's alright. A 
friend of his came here a few days ago. She said she's a lawyer and she gave me a card I will give to him whenever he comes back. I would have suggested we go to her, but I don't know where I kept the card she gave to me. That's the problem. It's okay, Mama. Don't worry yourself too much. I'll handle everything, okay? I'll get a lawyer who will handle the things ourselves. Please don't cry again. Mama, please. Please just stop crying. You'll fall sick again. Please. Are you aware that time is not on your side? Father, according to tradition, I know that very well. What have you done or what are you doing to salvage the situation? Father, it's not easy as you think or any other person might think. I have gone to her several times, but she told me she doesn't want to discuss anything about marriage until she finished dealing with Desmond for raping her sister. Desmond did what? <laughs> Desmond raped her sister. As we are discussing right now, he is in the police custody. What? Yes. They might be charging him to court tomorrow for murder, rape case, and robbery. He did all that. I, I thought he was such a good young man. Father, all that are not my problem right now. What I'm thinking right now is how to win Sonia back to myself. Talking about that, son, you cannot continue to wait for her. Something has to be done. And it has to be done real fast. I cannot sacrifice my love at the altar of tradition. It's Sonia or no one else. So what you just told me now was exactly what happened? Yes. Okay. Okay. I will negotiate your bail and get a short tea to sign your bail bond. You see what we made this man? This criminal. We are taking this man to court for court of reason. Officer, I am discussing with my client. I never asked for your opinion. Besides, the crime you people leveled against my client is a billable offense. Okay, now. If you don't want to grant him bail, then take this case to court and let patents out there. Okay. Why do I want to talk to you? Um, that's more. Uh, let me see the DPO. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. No sense. Oh, yeah. Move. I said move! Criminal. See them. Lawyers. Police go catch criminal. They come bail them. After they say person know what they do, they don't know their work. Fools. From what the DPO is saying, they are going to charge this case to court. Uh, this month, he already had a case with the police. A robbing case. He is not only head for raping case. If you ask, how well do you know this young man? Barrister. He's my very good friend. Really? We're from the same community. We attended the same university. I'm just surprised at the way everything is going because I used to think Desmond like a very good person. I, I, just, I just don't understand what's going on. I don't understand. Desmond is a nice person. Would you, you see, what baffles me is how this young man still maintain his innocence that is is innocent of the, the, the crime leveled against him. Psychologically, he seems to be telling the truth to me, but the evidence leveled against him speaks otherwise. I don't know. I, I, I think something is wrong somewhere. I, I'm seeing this case as a mistaken identity, or someone must have perpetrated this crime that this one is being heard on. I, 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 I don't just know. Anyway, we'll, we'll meet in court. I'm in court, but, but there is something I just can't lay my hands on. There is something I just can't lay my hands on. This one is not a bad person. He can't, he's not a bad person. <laughs>
can see you're busy. Yes. I'm searching for a very important document. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Sister, you've not said anything concerning that young man that raped me. Hope you've not set him free. No. You know I can't do a thing like that. Then why is no one telling me anything about it? That young man must not go unpunished. Do you have to do something? It's okay, Kamsi. He'll be going to court very soon. Okay? He will go in for it. I promise to get the justice that you deserve. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. God, please have mercy. Have mercy on my son, Father. I know my son is innocent. And you are the only one to, that can vindicate him. You are the only one that can prove his innocency. Father, please, I beg you. You said it shall be well with the righteous, and they shall eat the fruit of their labor. He is not guilty as charged. God, please, please help me. Hear the cry of a widow. Please, this is my prayer that you vindicate my son. I pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Uh, don't worry, you're back. Uh, how did it go? Any hope? Mama, they refused to bail him. Why? I thought you said if we get him a lawyer, they will bail him. What is happening? Mama, they said they would charge him to court. What? Uh, what did he do? Eh? Why must they charge him to court? Ujumwa, I told you that these people want to kill my son. Okwangwaragawa. Mama, please, please calm down. Please calm down. Please calm down. If I had known the person that is behind this, I would have gone to ask him for forgiveness. I believe there will be a way out. Stop crying, Mama, please. Take a man of man, God have mercy. God have mercy. Uh, yes, dear. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way back. I went to the police station to see a friend. But I'll be back shortly. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Talk to you later. Is this? Who is this? Jesus. This person looks exactly like Desmond. What is happening? No. If I hadn't seen the policeman take Desmond inside the cell a while ago, I would have concluded this is Desmond. Oh, 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 you, wait. You mean, you, you're telling me that you saw someone that looks exactly like Desmond? Barista, he looks exactly like Desmond. Everything about him, his complexion, his body built, everything looks like Desmond. In fact, he's Desmond's carbon copy. The only difference is that he smokes while Desmond doesn't. 
I will take note of that. Um, not that I'm doubting you. I, I, I still have to confirm for myself so I can be very, very sure. Barista, if you need to confirm, I can take you to where I saw him. We can go there right away. That's if you're less busy. Uh, actually, at the moment, I'm not doing anything uh, in the office. No. I, I had to rush down here immediately he called me. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's go. Okay. Well, the fact is, it doesn't matter. It's a very small way. You are you. So, yes. This is the exact spot to say so. Barrister, calm down. Don't worry. Very soon, I'm, I'm sure he's going to come out. This was where I saw him. We'll be here for like almost than hour. Be patient, more, a little more, please. What's the way, dear? This. It's incredible. This guy is Desmond's carbon copy. If here is America, I would have concluded he is Desmond's clone. But our science have not gotten to that level. But what is happening? But you don't say they fuck up. No, 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 no. You don't say you they fuck up. No way to talk with that. We're on a back like this. I'm suspecting something. There is something we need to be told that we don't know. Uh, uh, Uju, we need to see Desmond's mother. Alright, let's go right away. I told you they need something. So much I like. Madam, we are investigating your son's case. We are reason to believe that he is not as guilty as charged. But we need concrete information to prove our point. So we are going to ask you a very important question and I would like you to tell me the truth. Madam, are you ready for that question? Yes. Does Desmond have a twin brother? Madam, it is important that you answer this question before you. Does Desmond, your biological son, have a twin brother? Hey! Chimo! Ah! Hey! So this is what is happening. Hi! Mama, talk to us. Tell us the truth. Maybe this will exonerate Desmond. We know he's not guilty of the crime that has been leveled against him. But we need substantial proof. Just tell us if he's a twin. Let us know. <laughs> My children, it all happened 30 years ago when Desmond and his twin brother Kensele we are a year old. How oh, my kids? They are fine. They are in their room. 
okay. And Papa Edima, you are bleeding too much. What is the matter? What's happened to you? Nothing. It's just a cut when I was trying to come down from the commercial vehicle. Ah! Please, check if you can get a bottle of the two. And I got your wood. I believe it will make a lot of difference. Okay, I'll do as you said. But it's better we'll go to hospital. <sighs> huh? Oh, I am not going to any hospital. Just get me what I want and stop asking me too many questions. <sighs> okay. But I think we should go to hospital. Ah, this is too much. Be fast. <sighs> with my back and who told you to open it I'm sorry where do you get this money and these guns from who owns them woman you are asking foolish questions I am your wife we are not supposed to keep secrets from each other what do you want to know I want to know where I got the money and the guns from. They're mine. Huh? Papa Ijima. Wait. You're not a robber. Keep quiet. Oh. No, 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 no. Let this not be what my mind is telling me. So, Papa Ijima, all this while you told me you're going out for business is robbing you too. Keep quiet. Papa Ijima, so you're an armed robber. What do you know about robbery and thief? Papa Ijima, do you know what? I am disappointed at you. I cannot live under the same roof with an armed robber like you. Do you know what? I am leaving this house this minute. I'm going out there to take my kids. Armed robber. Armed robber. After that fight, that night, I managed to run away with one of the twins. I took Desmond and left Kinsley with him. That's how they were separated. Kinsley? I think we found Kinsley. What? Where? Where are you In a hideout, very, very far away. And I believe he's responsible for all this crime that this one is going through. Uh, we must go and get him so we can exonerate this uh, Madam, you have to come with me to the station so you can tell this part of the story to the DPO. It's all right, uh, please. Give me some time, let me change my clothes. Oh, uh, please do that quickly. Uh, 
barrister. The story is very, very complicated. You can say that again. Don't worry. We will track them down. Alright? We have to arrest the counselor first. It's only when we do that that Desmond has a chance of getting his freedom. Do you understand? Yes. Well, never mind. We will send a special squad to their hideout tonight. Let's spread the cat. Uh, Mr. DPO, I have a very strong faith that they will catch them. Yes, they will get them. I pray so. I pray so. Uh, DPO, let me run out. I have to go see uh, Desmond's mother and Uju and let them know about his present progress. Okay. Actually, that house out for me right now. Uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll get back to you. You've been doing a nice job. It's alright. Thank you. Yeah. Sergeant, please come to my office. All right. My love, please. Please try and hear me out, please. Please, I beg you. What is it that you want to tell me that you've not said before? What? I, I love you. I love you so much that I cannot see myself living without you. Please. Prince Ken, I've told you to give me time to sort out myself. Please. And, and, and besides, I can't even jump into any relationship right now. My love, I'm not asking for an ordinary relationship. I want to marry you, yes. Yes, I want to marry you. Just say yes and I will marry you immediately. I mean it. Prince Ken, are you that desperate? Everyone in my kingdom is expecting me to get married. And I stand the chance of losing the throne if I don't get married as the tradition demands of me. Now I get it. It's all about the throne and your tradition, right? Prince Ken, leave. Huh? Leave! My love, please. Please, I beg you. I don't want to disrespect you. Leave my office premises before I call the securities to throw you out. Leave! My king, since after that meeting with the elders, you've not said a word to me. How did it go? And what did they say? Hopefully your son will be very happy now. What is wrong? The elders have sworn not to go against the tradition. I hope you know what that means. That's bad. So, what do we do right now? It's either your son does what is right, or he will face the tradition. It is very bad that he's not going to be the king after me. This is too bad. How long does he have? Two weeks. Just two weeks for your son, the prince, to lose the throne of his ancestors. Shame on him. May the cause forbid. TPO, you mean it was not Death Mon that perpetrated the act? 
He didn't rape my sister after all. No. Desmond did not rape your sister. His twin brother, King Selig, did. What? You mean Desmond has a twin brother? Yes. And I didn't know about it. Oh my goodness. This is really unbelievable, sir. It's unbelievable. Okay. He's in the cell now, as you speak. You can even see him if you want to. Unbelievable. I, I can't even bless it. Same okay. with me. Mr. Finding. Okay. How did your meeting with her go? Did she accept your proposal? No. She does not want to talk about marriage or anything right now. According to her, she has a lot at hand. So, what are you waiting for? Go out there and look for any girl that will accept you and marry her as soon as possible. Mother, why are you people putting me under this kind of pressure? The pressure you putting me into is capable of making her to change her mind. Why don't you allow me to do things on my own? Ken, the elders we are here today. You have only but two weeks to get married to any maiden of your choice. Else, you lose the throne of your ancestors. Ken, it will be a big shame on you if you will not reign as king after your father. Think about it. If you go on a love again, the messy movie very big. When I try to stand up, I still fall back again. Oh, cold is catching me, fever all around. You've been moody since you came back from the police station. Hope all is well. Come see. We arrested the wrong person. What? What are you talking about? I don't understand. This month is innocent of the crime he was arrested for. Are you trying to tell me I don't know the person that raped me? Kingsley was the one that raped you. Desmond's twin brother. Oh my god. Sister, don't tell me you're serious. I saw him today at the police station. He's a carbon copy of Desmond. Oh god. God have mercy. What have I done? I can't believe I just accused the wrong man. Desmond. Desmond, my love. Desmond, my love. Will you ever forgive me? How will I face him? After making him to go through all the pains he went through in the hands of those policemen, how will I face him? Oh God! Oh God! Please fix this for me. Fix this, please. I don't even know what to do again. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do here again. But my eye. I can't deduce any single truth from, from all you are telling me now, Mama. I understand you, my son. I don't want you to... You don't want me to do what, Mama? What kind of confusion are you pouring into my brains? Under whose care did I grow up as my father then? <laughs> Mazio Keke was my father's younger brother. He was the only person that took me in. When my parents disowned me because I married your real father. Why did they do that? They never liked your father. At all. They wanted me to marry a particular rich man 
who was asking my hand in marriage then. Everybody wanted me to marry the man so that he can finance our family. But I refused. And they disowned you? Oh, my world. <laughs> I mean, those policemen were heartless and wicked. Very wicked. If you saw the way they descended on me, Mama, they manhandled me. Yeah. They beat me like I was not a human being, like I was just a bag of cement. Yeah. Look at what they did to me. Hey, I really thank God they did not kill you. I really thank God you came back alive. Else, the level of wickedness I saw in their eyes they would have killed you. Those people are wicked. Who be a joker fan? What have you come here to do? What are you doing here? That's it. Please, I'm sorry for what happened. It wasn't intentional, please. It was not intentional. Yet you had the police arrest me and do this to me? Do you know how they descended on me? Do you know what they have done to me? And you kneel here and tell me it wasn't intentional. We are truly sorry for everything that happened. Please forgive us. Now, if the two of you do not get out of here in the next one minute, I will do something all of us will regret. There's a place. Please, Desmond. Please. I just want to thank you for everything you have done for me. Thank you for standing by me throughout my travels. You have indeed proven to be a true friend and sister. You don't need to thank me. I did what I was supposed to do. It's not your duty to do it. Honestly, you owe me no obligation, but you did it. Moreover, not everybody will bring out their time the way you did to stand by someone in their trying time. Considering how I have been treating you. Desmond, true love does not count wrong. True love forgives and forgets. I am still at a loss at the kind of person you are, honestly. You, you surprised me by the day. You, your type is rare to find in today's society. I, I, I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. I don't take it for granted, okay? Welcome. You mean she turned you down again? She did not just turn me down. She said that to my face. I've totally lost her to Desmond. Her heart belongs to Desmond. She actually said that to you? Mother, she did not just say it. I saw it in her eyes today. I've lost her to Desmond. So, what are you going to do now? What are we going to do? I am confused. Your confusion will amount to nothing compared to what you will feel if you do not get married on time and keep the throne in this family. Your Highness, why are you sounding this way? Ken, you will not get a dime from my wealth. If you lose this throne because of your stupidity, do not say I did not warn you. I saw it in his eyes. He no longer feels anything for me. I wasn't surprised at his action. I knew it was going to happen. Come see. What were you expecting? Like he's going to embrace you? <sighs> Come see. I love him with all my heart. I love him so much. I did what I did because... Because I pushed you to it. Because I wanted justice so badly. Come on, sister. It's my fault. It's okay. It's okay. Stop. You didn't do anything. It's okay. That's what you think. I accused an innocent man. It was my fault, sister. 
It's okay. It's okay. Why are you didn't need for me? I saw love in the eyes of both of you when you were having your conversation a few minutes ago. I think God allowed what happened to happen for a reason. Mama, so you were... I was watching from the door. My son, Uju will make a good wife to you. Go ahead and propose to her. You have my consent. What are you saying, Mama? Exactly what you had. I'm not thinking in that line now. What did she do to you that you wouldn't give her a chance in your life? Eh? Please, forgive her whatever she might have done to you. Human beings are meant to offend each other. And it is our duty to forgive them. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That is the prayer we say almost every day. Yet, we don't know the meaning. Forgive your offenders so that God in heaven will forgive you your own sin. Mama, I cannot remember telling you she offended me. Then take her as your wife. She deserves it. Please, I am sorry for treating you the way I did in the past. You know, I, I am, I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. My prince, it's okay. I heard nothing against you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I never noticed that you're such a maiden with heart of gold. You know, all this, I, I didn't notice all these good qualities of wonderful wife in you. You know, I was so stupid. I was so stupid to have not noticed that. No, my prince, do not say that about yourself. You are a prince of Enugu Kingdom. You cannot be stupid. You are not stupid. Please, save me from this destruction. It is an abomination for a prince of Enugu, a shared kingdom, to kneel before a maiden of this land. I don't care about those things. What I care about now is to show you how much I love you. If you truly love me like you claim, you will not do what will put me into trouble. Please get up, my prince, please.
But I got to stay strong I'm a lover So heartbreaking up and more So many things now What will I do? What are you doing here? Go ahead and hit me You can kill me If that will make you happy once again But please, I need to talk to you You just have to listen to me You have five minutes to say whatever it is you have come here to say and get out before I lose my temper. You have every right to get angry at me. But please, don't let your anger take away the good man in you. Everything that happened was my fault, not my sister's. And what do you mean by that? I was the one that was raped. I was the one that accused you of raping me. I was the one that pushed her into what she did to you because I wanted justice so badly. No, she did not trust me, that's it. If she had one single trust in me, she would not have believed anything you told her. No, no. She tried. She tried not to believe me. Everything that happened was so complicated. The fact that I've not lied to her before, the police identifying you as one of the criminals that escaped their custody, the way you were looking the very day you were arrested. It makes the whole story more convincing to her. Put yourself in her shoes. Think about the pressure of your little innocent sister begging you, seeking for justice, going through pains and trauma of rape. Find a place in your heart to forgive her. Please, I beg you, please find a place in your heart to forgive her. Forgive your offenders so that God in heaven will forgive you your own sin. It's okay. I have forgiven her. Go and tell her I pay her no crutch. Are you for real? Oh God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Boys. What are you talking about? He said he has forgiven you. You mean Desmond? Yes. I was with him today. And um, let me get his well. Okay. I told him it wasn't your fault. Oh, wait. Come see. You did that for me? Yes. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I love you so much, okay? Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, it's a pity that what I dreamt of never happened. But I thank God for consoling me with something good as well. Nne, why are you sounding like this? What is the problem? Mama, I took you like my biological mother that I never saw. And that you will always remain. <laughs> my daughter, you will always remain my daughter. Oh? Desmond, I love you with my whole heart and I will always do. Whatever I did for you was because of the love I have for you. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate and I, I promise you I will not forget everything you have done. Um, Mama? Mm -hmm. 
here is an invitation card. I'm inviting you and Desmond to my marriage. It's taking place in two weeks time. And please, I would be really glad if the both of you will honor my invitation. Would you? Would you? Tell me you are joking. <laughs> Mama, I can't be joking. I'm not joking. Chimo. I wish I was joking, Mama. Chimo. I loved this month, but it wasn't meant to be. There's no point in me forcing myself to marry him when he has no atom of love for me. I had to move on. I had to. Hey! Oh, of course is it. Hey! Chimo. Anyway, my daughter, I don't know what else to say. But one thing I know is that I always wish you well. Thank you very much, Mama. I'll be on my way now. Please. You are going. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so you mean this can did all that to you just because of me? I couldn't believe my own best friend would turn around to become a monster overnight. It's okay. It's okay. I will get him arrested. He will pay dearly for every damn thing he did to you. No, I wouldn't want you to do that, please. A lot has happened to him already. How do you mean? He has lost the throne. Because he couldn't meet up with the time given to him to present a wife, the father denied him the throne according to tradition. And to cap it all, the father has also denied him his inheritance. He's a broken man. He's, he's depressed. I wouldn't want you to add to all of that, please. Irrespective of what has happened, he's still my best friend. It's okay. You're such a nice person with a good heart. I love you so much. I love you too. 